Sims 4 My Wedding Stories has just released and I am going to be bringing you the crate sim of the couple that we are going to be exploring this new game pack with. I'd love you all to meet Mabel and Will Daybloom. They are the Daybloom's and they are going to be getting married soon. They are going to be having the most perfect wedding, they're gonna have the most beautiful ceremony, and they are the so-called perfect couple. Mabel and Will are the perfect couple. They met in high school and have had the most successful relationship ever since. They are now getting married in their home city of Tartosa after spending a couple years living in Sulani. The first sim that we are creating today is Miss Daybloom, and that would be Mabel Daybloom. I am in love with Mabel, like I... <laughs> She's so pretty. I'm so proud of how she turned out. I think she totally embodies the type of character I wanted her to be. Before hopping in to her backstory, I actually, or her, like her description, I actually want to get into her traits first. Then you can kind of get a gist of her personality. So her kind of description makes a little bit more sense. So Mabel loves to travel. She loves new adventures. She loves seeing new things. I gave her the friends of the world aspiration, but I'd rather it be she wants to travel the world. Mabel really doesn't like kind of staying in the same place. She's always wanted to travel as it did mention a little bit in Mabel and Will's description. They did spend a couple years living in Sulani before coming back to their hometown or home city of Tartosa to get married and to settle down there. See, she loves traveling, um, but unfortunately she hasn't traveled as much as she wa has wanted to because of Will and his family. She is non-committal. Her kind of love for traveling and exploring kind of also makes her a non-committal sim. She doesn't like sameness. She wants constant change. She wants new things. Things get stale for her quite quickly. She's never been able to keep a job. Everyone always tells her, Mabel, why can't you keep this job? And she's always wanting to move, whether it be to a new apartment or to get something new. She's just a very non-committal sim. She can't sit down and commit to something. She has to constantly be doing something brand new you and exciting. She's very outgoing. She loves meeting new people. The second you meet her, you'll just immediately get the vibe that, you know, she's very bubbly, very talkative. She's very elegant in the way that she'll charm you. The second you meet her, she just has this way about her, which makes her a very lovable sim. She's also adventurous, which just kind of ties into her, like, love of traveling. She loves experiencing new things. She loves kind of not really living on the edge, but she's always looking for that new adventure. She's also athletic. She is actually currently a yoga <laughs> instructor. So she really enjoys going to the gym. She really enjoys yoga. She really enjoys meditation. She is just really, really into that. And um, it's one of her main hobbies. You'll definitely see her either teaching a yoga lesson as it's her current job or at the gym. She's also a very romantic sim. Despite being non-committal, she's always been very romantic. And you know, she she loves a little bit of romance, which is which was quite lovely. <laughs> so that is Mabel's traits, but now I want to get into her backstory. So maybe you guys can get a little bit more of a gist about who she is outside of just the traits I gave her. Mabel has always been known as the flawless girl with the perfect life. Mabel has always been known as the flawless girl with the perfect life. In high school, she was not only the leader of the cheerleaders, but also of the school. Everyone knew who she was. Despite Mabel's life being planned out by Will and his family, Mabel has always dreamt of traveling and seeing the world. She loves adventure and new experiences. She hates stillness and is constantly moving. Unfortunately, since Will wants to settle down and have a simple life in Tartosa, she's hardly been traveling as much as she wants to. Mabel wants to make Will happy, but is the cost of her happiness worth it? So that is the description of who Mabel is. So as we can tell, Mabel really wants to explore. She really wants to find new experiences, but Will wants the complete opposite. He wants to have a simple life, living in Tartosa, kind of just having a very low-key life, whilst Mabel is kind of the type of girl who wants to explore. She wants new experiences. And next we have Will Daybloom. So right now we're creating Will, and Will, <laughs> he's so sweet, Um, but he isn't as perfect like everyone thinks he is. Kind of the same as Mabel in that manner. Will is desperate to have the most flawless life. He's obsessed with what people think of him and Mabel. He loves the reputation they have in Tartosa and he'll do anything to keep it, no matter the costs. He comes from a background of successful people and he wants to make everyone proud, especially his mother. When you first meet Will, you'll think he's a laid back guy with zero troubles, as that's what he wants you to think. Will his drive for perfection be the downfall of his life with Mabel? So <laughs> that is Will's backstory right there. Uh, let me know what you think about it. Will's aspiration is to find the perfect soulmate. He really wants to meet the one and technically he has met the one, Mabel, so technically his um 
illustration is completely completed, but that is the one I gave him. He is a romantic sim. Will loves everything to be super romantic. He's the most romantic guy you'll ever meet. He is family oriented. Will definitely knows that he wants a family one day. Mabel isn't too sure about it, but Will is 100% sure he does want a family. And he's very close with his family as well. Like his mom, his dad, and his sisters, he's very close with. So he has that trait there. He's also active. They both share that in common. They both love going to the gym and it's one of the main things they bonded over when they first met in high school. He's also a bro. He really enjoys sports and bro things. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing a terrible job at explaining his traits. Um, but he is, he's definitely a big bro. He loves sports. He loves going to see football. He's also a perfectionist and he honestly wants everything to be perfect. Well, it's just the ultimate perfectionist like literally he strives to perfection and i think at a very unhealthy amount he's obsessed with everything being perfect so that is will and mabel as i did state i am going to be saving a lot of their storyline and a lot of who they are for the series as i can't explore everything about them in one creator sim so you guys are just gonna have to wait a little while <laughs> wait a day you're gonna have to wait one day <laughs> to learn more about the stories and now let's actually talk about the series so this is gonna be a mini series it's going to be about two maybe three episodes long it's got not going to be long at all as i don't want this to be a full blown let's play i just want a really small mini series where i can explore the new game pack whilst kind of giving you guys a storyline and something to feel kind of excited about rather than just me looking at the new gameplay i wanted to bring you guys something fun something new so i thought kind of doing a little mini series with a couple storylines going into it be very fun i'm very proud of the stories that i have kind of written so i can't wait to kind of um watch them kind of play them out in the sims 4 so yeah very excited about that. I haven't actually played with any of the new gameplay yet as I've been saving it for of course playing it with you guys in this mini series. So for now I know literally nothing about the game pack. I haven't watched the live stream. I haven't watched any game changes videos. I know literally nothing but what I do know is the creator sim and here are my honest opinions about the creator sim. I love the creator sim but I'm quite disappointed that there aren't a lot of items. When I went into the tops I was actually really disappointed. I was like wait there's only one top so I was really sad about that and I wish we had gotten a couple more just things in general I feel like the cars was kind of a little bit watered down I didn't I was hoping for some more bridal veils I was just I was just a little bit disappointed with the creator sim and the amount of things that we did get although I am grateful for lots of the items we did get as lots of them were very pretty like I love the hair I gave Mabel I love the afro so much that's beautiful literally I love it so much <laughs> I would buy the whole pack for it I'm kidding I probably wouldn't but it is very beautiful and I can't deny the item they have given us in the game pack creator sim are stunning if only there were a couple more although we did get a lot of wedding dresses which were all absolutely stunning i, I love them all honestly let me know your thoughts on the new game pack in the comment section down below what do you think of the cares what do you think of the build and buy what do you think of the gameplay i would love to hear and let me know what do you think about mabel and will and are you as excited as i am for this little mini series based around my wedding stories if you did enjoy do not forget to leave a like and subscribe we'd love to have you join the plum family and we'll be seeing you all in the next video caught up in a wild summer